How y'all doing today? My name is Tyrone Miller. We're here in Hot Nails. Did I say it properly? Yes, you did. With the owner and proprietor of this fine establishment, Hot Nails. Where you come up with that name, first off? Um, hi, my name is Miss Bonnie. Oh, wait, but you, uh, can I, I, let, me, let me handle this, baby. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to just jump in on me. She's going to try, try to make it like I ain't professional. I was going to get to it. I just want to know why the name was like that. I just figured before I spoke, I need to introduce myself. Okay, let me go back. Let me, let me, we ain't going to rewind. This is Bonnie Scott, the owner of this fine establishment. Give her a big round of applause. Everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so where, where did the name come from? Well, the name came from, um, I did nails at Fashion Week in New York. Ooh. And um, they did this thing. They have a hot couture, which is for fashion. It means elegantly fashionable. Right. And um, I knew that when I opened up a nail salon, I wanted to be able to take it to another level. Right. I didn't want to do what all the average nail salons were doing, so I wanted to do something different, but on another level. And that's where hot couture hot. was going. That yeah. sounds like a classy hot. Hot Nails hot. And Company. This is hot. And the company hot represents today. everything else that we are doing, which is makeup, lashes, eyebrows, um, nails, pedicures, you know. The whole nine. Yeah. I like that. Yes. And you happen to be having a person sitting here that I'm very familiar with. Hi, Tosh Jasmine. Hello. Are you, you're not going to speak yes. to the camera? Hi. How are you a singer and you shy? You can't be a singer and be shy. Actually, we just started. Oh, yeah? And it has been... Amazing. How do you like Amazing. hot nails? I love it. She's she the only hot. person nail technician where my nails last. Yes. Ooh, ooh, that's only, good. Only. That's big. So you don't need a refill. You just, you just, they, no, actually, you can get a refill. They don't fall off. Right. Nice. Yeah, we're going on nice. three weeks. Three. That was three. That's we a all much. know four. Actually, four. Four weeks. That's a month. Yeah. Yeah. And look, so for y'all that don't, you know, y'all don't want to get y'all nails on the regular, you can come here. You might get them done once a month. <laughs> How, how's that going to be for you? You don't mind? Yeah, I love that because you're able to save money, you're able to rock your, your hot nails, and you're able to, um, it makes room for me to get more people in. Well, all right. So let's get to your story because I know your story. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure everybody else does. I want everybody to know the origin of where you come from and doing the nails and getting to hot nails. Well, I'm born and raised in New York City. New York? Yeah, Harlem, New York. And i um, raised in Queens. And I ended up moving to Trenton in 1992. And Trenton has showed me nothing but love. And I was able to really expand on my nail career ever since. And um, I had my own salon for nine years, which is called Hot Tips and Toes. And after I closed that salon after nine years, I went and worked with the Vietnamese, who I still love to this day. Um, shout out to Len and Ali, L.A. Nails, Pennington Plaza. All right, shout out to them. Love them to death. And um, at, while I was there, I left, went to Maryland, lived there for four years, came back. Maryland didn't have love for me. I loved it, but it didn't have love for me. And I knew that, well, I felt the love that Trenton had for me. So I ended up coming back to Trenton and um, knew that it was time for me to open up my own salon. And, um, you know, and that's where Hot Nails and Company was born. I love that story, man. So you left, came back. Yeah. Because this is where you knew your heart was at. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about. So you had hot tips and toes? Yes. And now you've graduated to hot oh, nails. Nails and company. Hot. I like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta take it to another level, you know? And when you come here, you, you know, you get you, you get taken care of, is all I'm gonna say. Right. That's all that needs to be said. <laughs> take it well. That's all that needs to be said. Makes this interview very easy to do. I love it. <laughs> Corey, you like it? Shake, shake the camera, man. Shake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves it, man. That's what's up. So I think I'm gonna get. Is it alright if I get a manicure? I would love for some one of my team members to do your manicure. Alright, so we, well let's go meet the team, and uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a manicure. You ain't never seen a man get a manicure. It's gonna be the first time. Tyrone Miller show. Be back in two and two. I don't even know where that came from. I always do that corny stuff, man. Two and two. I'm mad at myself. All right, y'all. I'm over here getting my nails done right now. It's a man getting his nail. I'm getting. I'm not getting tips on them though. I'm not getting <laughs> tips, dog. I'm just getting a manicure. And, oh, rub my hands together. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what's, what's your name, pretty lady? Monique. Monique. And Monique, how long you been working here? I've been here since February, since we opened. How long have you known Miss Bonnie? Well, I've known Miss Bonnie my entire life. She's my cousin. Ooh. <laughs> We've been doing nails together since 1999. Ooh, 1999? Yeah. Girl, I thought you was like 22, girl. No. It's 1999, I ain't even know. I ain't know Miss Bonnie was that old, but we ain't gonna talk about that because she about to cuss <laughs> me out for even mentioning it. But yeah, so tell me how my nails look. And do you deal with ashy hands a lot? I do. You do? I do. I do a lot of manicures. Actually, your hands look pretty 
fair. They look fair? They look fair. I'll take that. Man. My hands look <laughs> fair, baby. Yeah. That ain't bad, man. But so, so you know, do my hands. come in here, I'm going to have them looking great. you going to have them looking great, Monique? Right. I believe you. I believe that. I so, told, yeah, Corey, you getting a close up of this, man. Look at this stuff. This is amazing. Now, for people online and on TV and wherever you happen to be watching this, man. Do not make fun of my, that little knuckle thing on my hand. Yeah, it's, you look like he almost, you nail biter? Yeah, I am a nail. I just actually I bit my nails. Does that say a lot about me? Yeah, that says a lot about So, me. can you tell a lot about people, about how, how their nails look? Yeah, yeah. Do people come in here with dirty nails? All the time. Really? Like dirty, dirty? Yeah. Do you wear gloves when you do their nails? Oh, um, no, that's what this was. Mm -hmm. it's, oh. it's sanitizer. Oh. So sometimes we do gloves with our, with our pedicures. So with my manicures, we just sanitize and usually we work from there. And I clean your nails. I get down in it. And so. Oh, you get down in it? Yeah. yeah. Get down in it. I like that. You get down in it. That's what's up. You have to. Nails is a very important part. People mm -hmm. don't, some people don't realize that, but it really is. So yeah. what's so important about it? Break it down, Monique. Well, you know, you can keep a lot of stuff, especially like you say, people come in with their nails dirty. Right. If you're working or you're eating, sometimes right. things get up underneath your nails. Mm -hmm. And we put our hands in our face, we put our hands in our mouth, we deal with our kids. So your hands is a very important part of your hygiene. I your think so. She's almost like a doctor. She's dropping <laughs> knowledge over here, man. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead, Mo. Can I call you Mo? Sure. Yeah, I'm going to call her Mo. Hey, Mo's doing it. You're doing your thing, girl. This is the first time I got a manicure in a minute, man. Really, well, your hands look really good to have not. Oh, well, you, you just saying that. Go ahead. <laughs> my hands look good. Yeah, my wife here that you yeah, baby. My hands look good, girl. That's right. <laughs> so what, what's that right there? What are you doing right now? Well, this is a sterilized kit right here. It's had my nippers, my, my nippers. nail cutters, mm -hmm. my cuticle nippers, Ooh. and my cuticle pusher. Oh, you got a pusher and a nipper. That's right. That's, that almost sound <laughs> nasty, man. She got a nipper and a pusher. That's and good. And what I want to do is some of them look like they can cut, so I'm going to cut. And then I'll use this here to push back your cuticles, which will allow it to grow mm -hmm. and become healthy and to remove all your dead cuticles. And after I push it and loosen it up, then I'm going to use these nippers right here to cut it away. And you won't feel anything. Nice. We're going to see. I don't know, man. I, you know, my cuticles, they need to be nipped. Yes, they do. I don't know about the pushing, though. I'm usually the pusher. <laughs> but let me, let me, I don't even know why I just went there. That was all wrong. I don't know what happened there. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize to the people that's watching this. I, I'm sorry, man. That was, that was wrong. You good? I'm good. All right, good. So, I'm still here at Hot Nails, and I'm getting my toenails done, man. My toes is getting done. He's, look at it, brother. It's good, man. It's getting the fuck. So I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just felt a little overwhelmed because my feet is in the nice water. And you, ah, uh, yeah, that feels good. That feels good. All right. Well, matter of fact, I'll let you talk. What's your, tell them your name. My name's Juanita Kelly. Oh, all right, Juanita Kelly. You said it's so proper and nice. That's what's up, Juanita Kelly. I like Juanita Kelly. So, Juanita, how long you been doing nails? I've been doing nails like going on uh, 24 years. 24 years. Woo! Yeah, over. Yeah. That is a beautiful. Probably thing. over that. I'm probably don't want to give away my age. So, if, you, <laughs> if you've been doing it that long and hot nails, right? Hot nails is fairly new. Yes. Hats, tell me how Hot Nails is different from all the other salons. Well, I, I used to be a salon owner, and um, I started directly out of beauty school. I was, I don't, how, how long, are you a Trentonian? I am a Trentonian. Uh, do you remember the Ewing Indoor Market? I do. Um, remember, um, I would, there was a cosmetic place in there, and the lady in there wanted to do nails. And um, I was in beauty school, and I started working there. And then um, I helped her build up a business, and she opened up a salon. And then I went on and opened my own salon, and I had a salon with my sister for many years, and then we opened up actually two salons, and then I haven't had a salon in the past like nine, nine or ten years, and um, Bonnie, I bet I met Bonnie several years ago, and we've been friends for many years, and we, because we're fellow nail techs, and like you said, um, we, we were both um, in this business together a long time, and um, we've kept in touch over the years. And uh, she, you know, she was working with uh, in the Asian salons, like she said, over the years. And um, she wanted to go out on her own, and she, you know, contacted me and said she wanted to open up a salon, and she just wanted to give the community a different, um, you know, a type of salon to come to, and. Um, 
a lot of our the people in our community, we tend to patronize, you know, the Asian salon. So we just wanted to show them that, you know, we can do the job too. You know, the That's African right. Americans can, can do the job. And we've been in the business for a long time doing it. And, um, you know, the Asians came in, in and, you know, they, you know, people know them as doing nails. But a lot of other, you know, ethnicities also do nails. And, and just let them know that African Americans do nails also. Oh, well, that, and we, that, we're, we're in the business, and that, we've been in this business a long time. That leads me to the shirts on these beautiful young ladies yeah. over here. Yeah. My nail tech is black. I like those, man. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a cool shirt. So, I'm, I'm sorry. Y'all models right now. So, what's your name? Tina. Don't tell your whole name. Say your first name. Tina. Tina. I like Tina. She's such good energy, man. I feel all bubbly. Mm -hmm. So, Tina, how, how is it coming down here? You, you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah? What's, what you like about it the most? Um, the nail tech and Miss Bonnie, she has a lot of energy and she's really fun. Oh, good energy. And y'all ain't here off camera. Miss Bonnie over there saying, oh, oh, my baby. Oh, that's so beautiful. And what's, what's your name, pretty little lady? Mia. <laughs> Mia. Mia's, matter, Mia. Mia Stone Cold, man. Look at they're, me. Mia. I know. My name, Mia, man. I had they're my nieces. Name. They're so, my nieces. So, Mia, how do you like coming down here? Give me good answers. I like that I can work with Miss Bonnie and meet the other nail techs, and I like I always stand over my aunt so I can learn how to do it one day. I like coming here and um, working and. That's that's good enough, Bonnie. baby. That's good, baby. Hey, you learning? That's what it's all about. You learning? You know what I mean? One day you gonna have your own salon, right? Yeah. Well, that's all right. But when you have your own slime, make sure I come back and get interviews. I'll be an old man by then, and then well, I might not be that old, but that's me being there. So, uh, I think uh, let's go back and talk to Bonnie if that's cool with y'all. Because when, when, when I get finished getting these nails, toenails done, because mm -hmm. it might take a while. Oh, notice Miss Bonnie over here doing her nails. So, as a matter of fact, can we get the interview in there? Can I talk to you right now? Absolutely. Because ever since you've been here, you ain't looked at me once. It's the first interview I've had. Ain't nobody looked me in the face. You really focused on what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, I got to make sure these customers are satisfied. Yeah, absolutely. So, so Miss Bonnie, tell me, about, tell me about these shirts. My nail tech is black. Well, they started because a lot of my... A lot of my customers were coming in and they were saying that, you know, because I put such hot designs on their nails that um, a lot of people would look at their nails and think that the Asians did it. No offense to the Asians, but, you know, um, they would always be so proud and say, my nail tech is black. Right. She's not Asian, she's black. That's right. So I decided to do some t-shirts and represent that so that my customers can be excited about that. And, and they have been buying the t-shirts off the racks. I, I can't even keep them because they buy them so much. Because they're proud. You know, they're proud to know that their nail tech is black. Oh, man, I'm proud. I'm proud, man. Now, now my nail tech is black. My nail tech no, is black. No, my nail tech is black. Man, I need to get one of them. Y'all got them in like 3X's? Yes, we do. Dude. They go up to 5X. <laughs> 5X? And we have them from small what, to 5X. Now, is they the real 5X, not that fake Absolutely. 5X? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I mean? My 5X's, I need a real 5X. I got you. All right, I got make you. sure we hook that up. When y'all yes. see me with the my nail tech is black, make sure you know. So, Bonnie. Miss Bonnie. Miss, oh, I'm sorry. She corrected okay. me. I'm sorry, Miss Bonnie. I keep messing up. It's okay. I know her as Bonnie, but I'm going to call her Miss Bonnie yes, today. Sir. But after this interview is over, you'll be back to Bonnie. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. Back to Bonnie, okay. <laughs> all right, so give me more on the, the feel you have for your business. Well, Hot Nails and Company, um, we, it's a team of six. We have two makeup artists. Two of them do ma um, nails also. But, um, you know, what I wanted to do was I wanted to be able to give people a different feel for nails. You know, it's a lot of girls who may be in their 20s and they have only known Asian nail salons. Right. But they forget that we had Spanish people, we had white people, we had blacks that have been doing nails for a long time. Right. So I wanted to open up a salon in the downtown Trenton area. I wanted to bring more life back to this downtown area. That's right. So that people, you know, people can know that there's more to nails than Asians. And I'm not knocking Asians because I, I love my Asian bosses that I had before, but I'm not knocking them, but I just wanted people to know that there are other ways and other people who are doing it. I love that. Yeah. That's your way of yeah. uplifting our people yeah. in your own way. You yeah. taking ownership for that. And you saying, look, man, you can do nails too if you want. Absolutely. That's, you're showing them something different. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, My next man. goal is to get a school. I want to open up a nail school. Because there's a lot of girls, young girls, that's wanting to do nails, but there's no schools here, you know? So I want to be able to open up that school so that they can come to. All right, 
right, well, hey, I done came here. Look, yeah, yeah, we gonna pan the camera over here, but we got to, man. I done came here, I got my nails done. Look at these nails. I'm getting my toenails done right now. Men, come down and get your toenails done, man. They take care of you, man. They kept me with drinks. We got the, the beautiful models next to me. Well, that, well, I ain't even gonna, they beautiful. But don't come down here for the models, because you come down here for the models, you're going to have a problem. Smile, man. Yeah, smile, man. Smile. Yeah, look at me and smiling, man. Me and even smile, man. Yeah, get me a round of applause. Me and get a round of applause. Get a round of applause. Yeah, what's the matter in that? So, basically, I've had a great time here. I believe y'all will have a great time here. Come down and support. Seven days a week. Seven days a week they open. What's the hours? 10 to 8, Monday through Saturday. And on Sundays, we're open 12 to 6. 10 to 8, Monday through Saturday. And Sundays, they open 12 to 6. 12 to 6. Gotta 12. go to church and praise the Lord. Amen to that. If you go to church, then you can come right after church with all your little girlfriends. Y'all lift up your boogie. If you're a man, you lift up your dress. You sit down here and get your nails done. You know what I mean? And Tosh Jasmine, what you got going on? Yeah. You know what I mean? Come get spoiled. Oh, hey, that I'm getting spoiled too, man. This is, I love it, man. Man, I'm telling you, man. Man, if you don't get your toenails done, come get your right. manicure. That's dope. Come but the toenails is where it's at, man. Right. You just feel so special. Trust me, it's worth it. I promise you that. Oh, oh she did. That's not my touch, Jasmine. Fine. That was almost Fine. a commercial right there. She said, "Trust me, it's worth it." You she pointed at the camera. That was good. I like what you did right there. All right, so. Did him. Welcome back, Ty. Uh huh. Welcome back. I'm back. Hey, we we need. We ain't talking about me, we talking about y'all, man. So, Miss Body, anything else y'all got to say to the people? You got to say to the people. I want to say that um, we are here for the people, and we're going to be able to give you all something different. And I hope you all come on down, downtown 117, South Beyond Street, Hot Nails and Company. Come support us. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. Well, all right, thank yeah. you for having me, man. Thank you for all the stuff, man. Yeah. Hey man, that's still man. That's what's up. All right, yeah. I don't know what else to say, man. I'm still getting my toenails done. So we'll see y'all in two and two. But we back, man. If y'all want to come to our business, holler at us, man. Get at us, cause we here. We here to bring out the light that's in Trenton and anywhere else that people want to see, man. So holler at me. Corey McCoy behind the camera. He's also the executive producer. So treat that man with respect when you see him, man. You, right. When you see him, say, hey, Mr. Executive Producer, why don't you give me a photo shoot for cheap? And he's gonna say, no, I'm not giving you a photo shoot for cheap. You gotta pay full price. Actually, you gotta pay extra because I'm a producer of a TV show now. Yeah, yeah, in your face. Right. So we'll see y'all. Peace, love, and blessings. Oh, yeah. All right, all right.